Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for this Thursday morning episode. How to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Okay everybody, that right there is the answer to my duck problem. Alright, I've been working on it. No, that ain't a new duck. I worked on that pretty much all day. And old John brought his cougar over. Had to help him out just a little bit. He's worried. I'm about to pass him. <laughs> Cougar's almost done, but so is the Thunder Chiefs. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Now, this is what I'm going to do about my ducks. I got this all figured out and it's going to work great. Yeah, I had to make this little jumper piece. What I'm going to do. Here's my fuel tanks, okay, that's a pretty good hunk of fuel right there, don't you think? It's got to be at least a gallon, but damn good they go right there in between my ducks, okay? I'm going to come in here and cut these about right there, chop. Now my main spar is about right, oh it's probably back a little bit far. it's probably about right there, that's where that hole is. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna, this is gonna be just glued into the wing, okay? And that's cut off straight there. Then we're gonna stay in the fuselage, okay? Just cut that off, glue this part in the wing. The wing slides on, bam. And this will be connected to this inside. See, so we put this in first, put that through the hole. Okay, connect that. Okay. Once the wing's on, this is already in the, the plane. All we're gonna do is slide it forward. Now I'm gonna put me a couple tabs right here that will glue, or not glue, but screw onto these turbine rails. Okay. And it, this is big enough to go right over the top of my turbine. My turbine will fit in there. So all we're going to have to do, is that's about where it goes, is uh, take them screws out. You got to see. Take them screws out. Slide this back. Put the wing on. Slide that forward. Put screw in it. Piece of cake, huh? Piece of cake. Well, that's about the only way to do it, make it look decent. You know? That'll also sliding this back over the top of that turbine will help put them bolts in the wing. Tell you what though. This plane will fit in a big trailer with the wing on it. <laughs> I think it'd be easier just to haul it around with the wing on, to tell you the truth. But, you know, this is why no one's ever built a Thunder Chief. They couldn't overcome the obstacles. <laughs> I'm guessing. Okay, but I got just a little bit more filling to do on this. So I figured I'd make y'all a video and don't want anyone going through post-traumatic Thunder Chief withdrawal syndrome. <laughs> Damn it, I tell you what, they need to come up with smaller tubes of this. I only use about a quarter of this to this. And I always end up with about 20 of these dang hardeners. I got a pile of them, man. dollar cheaper and take away some of that harder. <laughs> Don't eat all that harder. Can't sweat the small things in life. That's Bobo's rule of life right there. Can't don't sweat the small stuff. You know? That's where all that drama comes from. Too much old little stuff. 
long in a while. Me and the Bobo wife have been married for 25 years. <laughs> you know, you just can't sweat the small stuff. We've been married a long, long time. You know, she was my uh, sister's best friend going through school, so I've pretty much known my wife my whole life. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. She was my older sister's best friend through elementary school. And, oh yeah, G.I. Joe used to raid the Barbie camp. <laughs> Not many people can say they've known their wife their whole life. You know, I'm just going to do all this filling, man. I want to get this so good that once I prime it, I ain't going to have to go back and do no filling. I can just lay me up apart this afternoon. And get my other duck laid up. Tomorrow, we're going to install them. Dad's got my gear fixed. He's going to come by here in a little bit. Scissor going up and down real good. Oh, got a couple questions on that gear. No, the... Um, I might slow them down a little bit. I've got some throttles I could put in the airlines with tiny holes. But the thing about that, you slow them down too much. And see, that front gear goes forward. When you're flying, it ain't going to come up that hard. You know what I mean? Especially, you know, I hit the end of that runway. I'm doing 80 mile an hour. I'm pulling up into that first turn doing 100. And, uh, you know, that's wind resistance on that. So if you go slowing them down too much, it takes too long for them to come up. Or if they come up at all. And then your gear doors go and hit them. And then it breaks your hinges. It breaks your little ears off. Because them air cylinders got some power, man. Especially the bigger ones. They'll snap their mirrors right off if they get hung up. So, I'm going to see. I'm going to wait till I get the wing on and see how fast all of them work. Because that, that ain't going to work that fast when I distribute that air to the two mains. So, they don't have no uh, throttles on them now. But we'll see when... Uh, I get the other two hooked up. What I might do is just on the downside, slow them down a little bit. Because I like them to come up with authority. You know what I mean? Because uh, of the gear door situation. You know, them gear doors are shutting. Whether them gear are up or not. And if them gear ain't all the way up, it breaks stuff. So, uh, you know, and plus... When you're up there flying, you know, you, you take off, you can't see them landing gear and see how slow they work. And then I go into that first turn, I go into that first turn and bank and you can't see how slow them landing gear are coming up. You know what I mean? Now coming down on the gear checks a different story because uh, I like to uh, hit my switch. You know, at the end of the runway, so when the plane is coming right in front of us, they come down. You know, because there's a little bit of hesitation on them gear. You know, the gear door opened first, and then, uh, and then, uh, the gear come down. But we'll see when I get them all together how fast they can go. Because they're going to slow down when I get to the rest made. But, uh, no, even though it was bouncing on that stand, uh, look at my T-45 flame out video. I got them T-45s. I don't have no chokers on them. And uh, you see, when the, when the, right after the flame out, it wasn't.